the distributor and there's a wrong way i'll quickly try to show what's what's right and what's wrong so the bottom part of this distributor has three recesses it's in the shape of a y but the three recesses are not equally equally not at equal distance from each other so if you don't put it correctly you might end up damaging the distributor when you tighten the disk stack i hope it's clear anyway if you cannot understand that i'll i'll show you something which you need to check so there's supposed to be a drill mark on the distributor which you need to align to this pin on the ball body when you're putting it back but when i was doing it i i couldn't find that drill mark on the distributor so what you do is i hope it's visible here so after removal of top disk this is the distributor so what will you what will you match while putting it back so before removing you will confirm if there's a drill mark here it should align with the pin on the ball body i hope it's visible but in my case there was no drill mark so if there's no drill mark there will be one thing which you can check so you see this guy is different from the others it's different from this 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 and this how is it different there's a silver colored part here silver colored part here so this part will be facing your pin in the ball body so before before you remove the disk stack you uh, the distributor you confirm what is facing this pin can you see something different so while putting back you will not have any doubts i hope it's visible i'll try to zoom it in but when you do it you will see this one is different from the from this one or from this one there's a silver colored part here i'll try to zoom it in so you will align this guy with this pin in the ball body when this aligns and you put it back you will be sure that you've put it in the right way and again just like the top disk you try try to move this left and right and you see how much it moves so take a feel of it when you put it back if it's not moving or if it's moving too much you might have put it the wrong way call a senior and always when you're doing the doing it the first time take photos like these so because you never know what to focus on while removing but when you try to assemble it you will think oh shit i should have seen, seen this i should have focused on this so you make sure what is aligning here so this pin in the bowl body will align with something it could be a drill mark as written in the manual or it could be this thing what i found the silver colored part which is different from all the others so you focus on this while you remove it okay so show you the video so you can visualize it better i know this video is getting a bit too long but i just want to share everything that i know so you see he's cutting this glass ceiling there's a right way of putting it and a wrong way i already told you Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, there's a hole, and you hit it. Put a drift here in the hole, and then you hit it to remove it. Now you assemble the tool like this. You put it in the disc. Uh, this distributor. Ah, you see, it's visible here. Yeah. So there's no drill mark that you can find, but you see, this guy is different from this guy. I hope it's clearer now. you see this silver colored part so this will be facing the pin in the ball body i hope it's clear now so you turn it clockwise which will end up lifting the distributor yeah you make sure you wear your gloves because these discs are sharp
and now he has removed the disk stack. Okay, so now we will remove the nut which is holding your discharge slide and then we will remove the lock nut which is holding your bowel body to the spindle. If you guys have any trouble understanding what part is what, uh, you can put it in the comments and maybe I'll make a video uh, regarding the parts, what, what all parts, what, what they look like, what is their function. We can do some basic videos if you want. But for now, let's focus on this. I think it will be better if I show you through a video what he's doing. So you see you put a bolt on the body, then you put the clamp, then you take a sling. The only thing that you need to focus here is to this guy is this guy is normal thread so like right hand thread uh, what that means is to loosen it we need to rotate it in anti-clockwise fashion but the next lock nut is left handed thread so to loosen it you need to rotate it in clockwise direction so you read the manual don't worry think twice think three times if it's confusing you call you call a senior because because the next nut, this nut is easy, this is normal, but the next nut, the lock nut, which is holding the bowel body to the spindle is, is opposite, opposite thread. So if you're not sure, you call a senior because if you tighten it more, you might end up damaging the threads on the spindle or the threads of the lock nut and then it'll be a bigger problem. So the nut holding the discharge slide is now open, loosened. <coughs> now you can take out the discharge slide. You use this tool to take out the discharge slide. This is how you do it, self-explanatory. Then you put this ring down, you tighten the bolt and the discharge slide will come up. So you take out the discharge like like this so if you guys want me to make a video regarding uh, you know what is a discharge slide what is below the discharge slide what is above the discharge slide where's oil, where's water if you want basic stuff like this you can tell me in the comments and if there are enough comments maybe i'll, I'll make basic videos like how, how the purifier works okay you might know the theory but it'll be better if you can actually watch the parts and then visualize where's oil where's water these things will help you when you're troubleshooting if you want me to make a video about the path which the operating water takes for closing the bowl for opening the bowl i can show you guys i can make a separate video if you guys want to learn that so these things they help you in troubleshooting but for now let's focus on overall you see this is the lock nut and this lock nut is <clears throat> it's written off so this means this is you need to be careful here this is left hand thread what that means is to loosen it you need to rotate it clockwise instead of anti-clockwise if anybody knows why alpha laval has doing has done it please write in the comments because i for one cannot understand why okay i, I have a slight clue but if I can find a better explanation, I would love to hear it. So, left hand. So, you see, he loosened it by rotating it in clockwise direction. Before you do, make sure you understand what is left hand thread, what is right hand thread, because many, many people have destroyed these threads because of this confusion this thread this is the thread on the spindle you don't want to destroy it now you put this tool <coughs> to take out the bowel body 
from the spindle aha now now let's talk about the water ring the operating slide the operating slide holder again guys if you if you want because i i know these things are not in the mitsubishi self checker so if you want an explanation about what these parts do please write in the comments maybe i'll make a video i'll take some questions and maybe i'll answer all of them in in a different video if you want to know how water enters the wa water ring and then where it goes how does it discharge how does a alpha level purifier actually discharge i i can make a separate video because this one will become way longer if i start talking about that okay so some things which we need to focus here <clears throat> there are some markings which you need to check before you remove parts so i'll talk about that now <clears throat> okay i'll try to go a little faster and cover all the points so now you remove operating slide holder operating slide and water ring so you can read the manual it's easy but there are some things which you need to check before you remove it so there are some markings that you need to confirm so while you are putting it back you are sure you are putting it back the right way so when you are removing the operating slide holder it's not written in the manual but uh, it was told to me by a senior and i always do it and i've never had troubles so maybe you can also follow this step when you are putting the holder this holder i mean right now we are removing so when you are removing this holder you check one thing there are some numbers written on it on the holder and on the body there are some num some numbers written i'll show you a video you make sure you you align them so i'm always aligning those numbers and i never have you know i've never had troubles so better to follow this so so that you are putting it in the right way so with the holder and the body you check the numbers i'll show you the video no problems and while removing the water ring you you <coughs> align two markings i hope it's visible there are two drill marks here i will show you what they actually look like so you know what to focus on when you're actually doing it and the operating slide it's not it's not screwed in it's not fixed because it has to move up and down if you know why good if you don't know why you can ask me questions in the comments because i'll have to explain a lot because it's it it has to move in it has to move up and down to be able to complete the discharge process if you don't know how that links to discharge just maybe you can watch basic videos on youtube or and if it's not clear you can ask me i can make a separate video regarding the discharge how the water goes again i cannot stress this in, stress this enough how important it is for troubleshooting to know where water goes how it goes what is the path it takes it will save you a lot of time while troubleshooting anyways uh, let me show you the video what you need to match you can visualize it better okay you see i hope it's <laughs> you see i'm al aligning the numbers okay uh this is your holder this is your bowl body and these are the numbers that i'm aligning see removing you make sure they are aligned if they are not aligned you make sure you just check what they are looking like and while putting back you put them back to the same so you can always on that by looking at these numbers see you can align them now for the water ring there are drill marks i'll show you the drill marks you see these two drill marks i hope it's visible i'll try to zoom it in <coughs> excuse me
see these drill marks two drill marks if you guys know why it's important to align the drill marks you can write in the comments if you don't know you can ask me because if you don't allow align these drill marks you might end up breaking the flow of operating water so i can make a separate video again because this will become very very long if i start talking about all this so this completes our disassembly part for S alpha laval s type purifiers uh, for the intermediate overall after this i'll make a video quick video regarding the assembly of the parts that we have just disassembled one important thing when you take out the disc stacks you clean them in disc clean uh, solution but you make sure you don't put the top disc in the disc clean solution because it's a different material so our dismantling is completed in the next video i'll talk about assembly where i will focus on o-rings what o-rings go where because because it can get a bit confusing for first timers and then depending on the response i get on these videos i will decide if i want to go ahead with the major overalls because with the ma major overalls with with belt replacement with motor bearings display display uh, motor bearing uh, replacement with the uh, friction clutch bearing replacement and with purifier spindle disassembly and assembly these things they they are not very easy and i've learned so many tips and tricks you see so many tips and tricks which were not in the manual but were very helpful when i was actually doing these things so but it will be very hard work because i i need photos i need videos i need manuals i need my tips and compiling them together in this format is effective but very hard for me so i'll do this only if i get good response for my intermediate videos otherwise i don't think it'll be worth it <sighs> anyways thank you for paying attention i know this video was a bit long but the type of community that i'm planning to build will appreciate the information that was shared in this video so if you have reached till end if you have seen the whole video welcome to the club i will start making such good videos you can subscribe share and all that so you don't miss out on any videos i think i'll also start uh, talking about annex 1 annex 4 because fourth engineers they need to know when to discharge sewage when you can discharge sewage uh, better would be to ask questions uh, like are you sure if you can discharge stp outlet when you're at anchorage are you sure if you can discharge stp outlet when you're near port and if so what are the things you you have to check um, what is clean drain what is bilge what is sludge to discharge clean drain do you need ows to discharge clean drain do you need oil content monitor so many good things which can be shared i think i'll start making these marpol videos as well uh, and then depending on the response i get i will decide the direction i want to take my channel in